Hello fellow StarCraft II players, this is another Gosu Builds guide, this time to the Reaper Hellion Medivac into Cloaked Banshee build for TVT. Now with this build, it's designed to be as aggressive as humanly possible. Basically, you're going to be getting Reapers with speed, Hellions, out of a naked factory and then a Medivac in order to drop, and you can abuse the fact that one Rax FE only makes Marines, and Reapers and Hellions are surprisingly good versus Marines. And also, you can abuse the fact that most uh, most builds end up getting very, very low Marine counts up until you've got the infrastructure up. So, with this build, you're trying your best to basically kill as many SCVs as you can early on, as well as deal with the Terran army that you can possibly have at the early game. Obviously it starts with a 10 depot, just like every other build, and then you follow it up with a 12 racks. Coming up in a second right here. At exactly 150 minerals, you put down the 12 racks right there. Boom. And then with this build, because you're getting reapers, you're going to have to get your 13 gas. You don't want to do a 1 racks FE. <laughs> This build is also surprisingly good at 1 Rax FE, so if you have the opportunity to know an opponent is going to be doing 1 Rax FE, this is a great build to try to metagame them, screw them up, and just auto-win, because Reapers and Hellions are really good versus a 1 Rax FE if you have solid micro. Now, before 13 supply, you actually don't have the money to scout, because you won't be able to constantly produce SEVs. So try your best not to scout before 13 supply, but with this build, it's, you need to know exactly whether your opponent's making Reapers of his own, or going 1 Rax FE would be a really helpful thing to know, so scouting at 13, 14, 15 supply is a good idea in order to figure out what's going on. With this build, you can either get the Marine or not. Getting the Marine lets you stop your opponent from figuring out exactly that you're going Reapers, but it also delays your Reapers by a little bit. So when you do this, you get the one Marine, instantly start the tech lab, and then before your first Reaper, you get your second Gas Geyser, right there. Now with this one Marine, you're just trying to deny vision of the tech lab. You're not really going to be able to do anything with this. Keep it pretty defensive, and with your first Reaper, you get to actually scout. If you have the opportunity to know that your opponent is not going four Reapers of his own, you can be very aggressive with your first Reaper, but otherwise try to keep it defensive because you're only going to have one Marine and one Reaper for a while. Now getting such a fast second gas lets you tech up straight to factory tech, so still on your first Reaper you should have the 100 gas right now, plop down the factory, constantly producing SCVs obviously just like every single build, and then there you go, you have 50 gas in order to start the second Reaper. As I said before, if your opponent is playing with Reapers of his own, keep this one Reaper defensive. Otherwise, you can take the Watchtower, you can take their Watchtower, you can be maybe greedy enough to pop up into the main, see if you can do some damage there. Obviously, on this map, you can only pop up right here, so it's not very hard to shut down Reaper play, so it's not a good idea to do that. But obviously, that's map dependent, so it's up to you. Just try your best not to lose the Reaper no matter what you do. Losing that Reaper is bad because the strength of this army comes once you have medevacs and Reaper speed. As soon as that factory finishes, start a starport, start your Hellion production, and then start Nitro Packs, the Reaper upgrade. It's important that you don't get supply blocked here because <laughs> otherwise you'll lose uh, a Hellion or a Reaper and you can't actually afford that if you're going to be as aggressive as humanly can. Also note, this Marine does not leave your base. You need something to kill SCVs while your Reapers are out in the map trying to deny vision, trying to kill watchtowers, stuff like that. If possible, try to hide this um, factory in Starport because seeing a Reaper usually means a Reaper FE, and it does not always mean suddenly hitting them with a lot of Hellions and, and Medivac even going into Cloak Banshees. So do your best not to reveal the fact that you have a Starport, and do your best not to reveal the fact that you have Hellions up until you, this push happens. So, as soon as the starport's finished, you make this the medevac, and then you're getting ready to push with as many Hellions as you can, as many Reapers as you can, Reaper speed, and your first medevac, and they all line up pretty evenly, if you notice right there. As soon as the medevac pops out, you start a tech lab on this starport, or if you can, you can swap it off over here after Nitro Packs finishes, and uh, instead of building a second starport, it's personal preference. Um, 
And as soon as that finishes, you get to start cloaking. And your first Banshee, right there. Cloaking first. Always prioritize cloaking. But then you get to start your next Banshee instantly. Now, in one second, as soon as I start the Banshee, boom, start the Banshee 100 gas. Constantly making Hellions. Probably, if you hadn't made this one Reaper, you could have fit the Banshee a little bit earlier. You can mess around with that a little bit. But you're getting Cloak and Banshees. And then you attack the base with the Elevator. Now, let me go back just for a second to right when you do the push. And right over here, you get your Reapers. They have Reaper speed. You get your Hellions. And then you get this first Metavac. Now, it is, in fact, a Elevator build. Reapers can Elevator by themselves. They don't need any high ground vision or anything like that in order to pop up here. So they can do that by themselves. However, the Hellions can't. So you get the Metavac in order to load up the Hellions and then have Reaper go right here, and the Medevac for Vision, and right here, if he has any Marines set up, your Reapers will chew through naked Marines. It's only 7.30. He's probably not going to have Combat Shields just yet, if he's going straight for Combat Shields, and he definitely won't have Stim, so you don't have to worry about that. But you use the Medevac for Vision, the Reapers on the low ground, just to clear the landing site, and then as soon as you can, you pop up with your Reapers, you drop the Hellions, and then you have this Reaper, which is getting healed and can leave Medivac Hellion combo. And you get to just wreck your opponent's base. Now, it's important that with this build, you instantly go for his army. It's not a good idea, or, or his mineral line, but you cannot wait for very long, because as he gets more and more time, he can crank out more Marines. Your army's not going to get any bigger, because it all is dependent on this Medivac loading up and dropping onto the high ground. And also, um, you want to basically do as much damage as fast as possible so that he loses the workers earlier. But that's obvious. Um, with this build, try your best to line them up. Three Hellions is enough to one-shot. And so you want to be using these Reapers to just chew through Marines, these Hellions to chew through Marines, and then just make sure you can deal with SCVs in the Mineral Line. So your first place you should go is the Mineral Line, but you want to actually engage his army. However... What you want to avoid at all costs is bunkers. Bunkers are the death of this, because Hellions can't do anything versus bunkers, and Reapers do pretty poorly against Marines if they can't actually kill them in a head-to-head -head fight. So with this, make sure you're avoiding bunkers, make sure you're not getting surrounded by SCVs, and if he has entirely too much stuff, you can always just pick up and then have these drop off the cliff. So it's always a really easy escape route. You just get your Hellions back into the Medivac and leave, and he won't have anything fast enough to deal with this Hellion, with this Medivac just yet, and then you just tell your Reapers to leave. Um, the other thing to note is that your follow-up is this Cloak Banshee at the top right here. This Cloak Banshee is building. So what you're going to want to do is make sure to kill as many Marines as possible, not only so that you can kill SCVs with the Reaper Hellion Medivac drop right here, but also to clear a way for this Banshee to do even more damage. Because if he gets a tank out, Reapers and Hellions do nothing versus a tank. But guess what? Banshees do surprisingly well because tanks can't shoot up. So you're trying your best to chew through his Marines, not just to kill the Mineral Line, but also for this Banshee to do work. And if you have the opportunity, Reapers with their building attack are pretty good against turrets. If you happen to see your opponent starting a turret in, a, in expectation of this Cloak Banshee follow-up, killing that is also a good idea. So again, let me just go right through the build again. You build the 10 depot, 12 barracks, 13 gas, start a tech lab, start your second gas before the first tech lab is finished, and then you start making reapers. As soon as you have 100 gas, you start the hellions, oh, sorry, you start the factories and then the hellions, and then as soon as the factory finishes, you start a starport, hellions, and nitro packs, and then once your first medevac is popped, you get a tech lab and you get cloak research and banshees. And that, folks, is the build. Thanks for watching.